walking is small and early in the morning it's really dead by Saturday this will be Saturday night here it won't be around but it'll be really crowded then and of course it stays closed this is still the Shabbat this is Shabbat so it'll be closed until it's a Sabbath I should use that word and I guess but anyway it'll be closed until I guess what six tonight or something so not going to do any business today cool kind of seeing it empty like I'm the only human being here what's weird is uh, the hotel I'm staying at they're nice so basically I had to check out today because I'm not going to be there but they let me keep my luggage there because I actually on hotels.com checked into uh, made a new reservation here for a couple days so that'll be good. I don't have to carry. Well, I'll check. I don't know what I would have done. Carry all my backpack. I had like three of them. And I uh, guess I could have, but that would have been awkward. So this way, I'll just have a little one with me for an overnight. But when I come back Sunday night, they'll have a new room for me. So that'll work out. A couple of exits. So I'm gonna go up this way. And that takes me directly straight to where I have to go. To the street, that is. Still about a mile and a half to walk all together this morning. But it's a route that I'm familiar with at this point in time, so I shouldn't get lost. So we exit Old Jerusalem and now we're, well actually I exited when I left the walls out of the Jaffa Gate, but I don't need to worry about traffic here. This was good. It's Shabbat and it's early. That combination means no cars. Perfecto. So this is, uh, this is actually a different street than I think I normally take. It's hard to tell because, but anyhow, I'm still in the right direction. It's an interesting street. Nice buildings, old buildings. Hard to tell because there's no people, no tables out. So nothing looks familiar to me. It's easy to get lost here. You make one little, the streets all split and go on angles, source in Pittsburgh. Look, this is really nice. It's a good way to see the city though, early in the morning, on Shabbat. Huh, nice. Take a right on Yal Masha Solomon Street, then in 250 feet, take a left on Jaffa Street. The McDonald's here. It's the first chain I've seen. In 250 feet, take a left on Jaffa Street. Pretty cool here. This is Israel's main street, so weird seeing it so empty. Typically it's got, you know, the the rail, the train, but that's not running today because of Sabbath. It won't run until tonight again. And uh, of course all the stores are closed. So amazing. Not seeing any vehicular traffic people are walking right in the middle of the train tracks which never would happen on a normal day obviously
I'm assuming people out in the bottom are more like me, tourists. Early morning on the Sabbath, Saturday morning, it's the Shabbat. Yeah, and I'm going to move. Look, no traffic, no cars, no people, no train. Shabbat, the Sabbath, so there's no traffic anywhere, no cars. You might see a taxi or a tour bus that are taking tours to various destinations, but that's it. I got to meet people here at a hotel that is uh, going to be our group, there's a group tour I joined, so I'm spending the night in, I'm going to spend the night in, uh, tonight in Jordan at a Bedouin camp and so that should be interesting and fun so here's the place this is a hotel called Abraham and I was actually going to stay here once I actually had reservations that I came up and looked at the place and I thought well you know I still I'm the kind of guy that needs a mint on the pillow at night so exaggerating so I canceled and I was out of a hotel so I looked everywhere and there was no vacancies. I went back to the hotel I was staying at, the new Imperial. They were booked, but they found me a room. So I was there. It was where it's at here. So I guess I'm here to wait.